Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about TikTok. TikTok has just blown up. I can spend hours on it and I probably don't need to tell you that because you've probably experienced it too. But did you know that there are a lot of really fun ideas that you can incorporate in your music classroom from this app? Let's talk about it. If this is the first time ever clicking on any of my videos, thank you so much for being here. My name is Jessie. I am an elementary music teacher and on this channel, you're gonna find lesson ideas, uh, play along videos, and really anything that has to do with music teaching. So let's rewind to the beginning of the school year. So in the beginning of the school year, I was virtual like a lot of other schools were. And because of my binging of TikTok, I came across this video and I will insert it in here. Essentially what she did was put the um, Angry Birds theme song, uh, kind of notated it using, you know, non-traditional notation. She used the circles. And so if it was one circle, you would tap your cup once. If it was two circles, you would clap your um, cup two times, which I, instantly I was like, that's top of TT, that's quarter note, and that's eighth note. Side note, I think this challenge first was like an energy drink um, promo, like, because I saw a lot of energy drinks uh, <laughs> doing this challenge. So I think essentially that's where the roots are of this. But anyways, so what she did is she had one line, one pattern that went with the Angry Birds theme song, and then they had the other pattern. And so she would uh, go tap, tap 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 so on and so forth and then would do the left hand a different pattern and then the challenge was then you would have to do both hands at the same time which really you had to then learn how to do you know two independent things with both hands and that was really the challenge part of this so I took that and I ran with it I had so much fun and I do have a blog post already on this it is called the angry birds uh, cup challenge it is over on my blog I will post it down below for you guys but I kind of broke it down where we had one day where we practiced exactly this challenge. So the first time, first day was just practicing our right hand and our left hand. The second day was trying to put them together. Um, and so it was like about a two lesson, um, two lesson unit, mini unit, <laughs> whatever, two lessons. And then after that, I even was thinking I, I was, it was virtual learning. So I wasn't sure exactly how much my kids were getting out of it. Um, I do think though, some really did love it and they showed me their video. They uh, videoed themselves doing the challenge and sent it to me. Um, but I just kind of wrapped it up and kept going. But next year, Next year, I think it'd be a great project idea that essentially you teach this to them. And then the next, um, you know, the third lesson could be create your own. So whether they create their own pattern with Ta and Titi, I do think I was thinking about like, could they do like four circles? Could they do like Tikka Tikka? I do think it'd be really challenging. I'm not sure exactly for sure. But what they could do is even pick the song that they, you know, do the challenge to. It doesn't have to be Angry Birds. It really could be anything and four, four, or two, four, uh, really simple and really easy. So I think that there's a project idea behind this that would be really fun. The second idea I have for you guys is from actually two creators. So I first saw one, I think he's more of high school uh, music. And so he has definitely some more challenging rhythms. Um, but I have also seen an elementary music teacher do this too. So essentially you're just taking a very, you know, famous, popular TikTok song bite. And what you're doing is you're just putting rhythm cards on top of it. So it'd be like that, you know, that one that's like, da, 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 da. Dun 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 that one. So what he would do is he would put up, I think it was four cards, and it was just four flashcards, and you're just really you're not tricking, but you're you're encouraging kids to you know practice their rhythm in just a more engaging, fun way. And so he would flip the cards with the time, but what was really cool is I saw that some of his students would duet him, and so then I don't know why I did air quotes like duet is not a real thing. They would duet him and it was really cool to see them trying to clap and say the patterns and alongside and that split screen and so I thought that would be really fun for elementary so then I did see this elementary music teacher do that with some more simple rhythm cards and so you really could have so much fun with picking the song you could have the students help you pick the song and just again just encouraging and motivating students to continue practicing rhythms 
And also even too, you could try and do some kind of duet. I don't know like if we want it with their on their own TikTok, if you let them like record it through your like teacher TikTok, um, it could be a little messy on that, but I do think that there's some potential for that and it would be really cool for kids to, you know, kind of do the duet challenge. Finally, my last lesson idea for you guys from TikTok is actually a lesson idea that came from this lady right here. I'm just gonna show you guys. Let me see, I might put down my brightness a little bit here because I think I am going to mess up my name. I will have her linked um, below for you guys. Um, oh, there we go. It finally kind of came into view. But she has, first of all, just an awesome music teacher TikTok. Uh, but she talked about a rhythm relay game that she plays in her classroom that her upper elementary kids really love. Um, so for that, um, I'm going to let you guys check out the video. She does an amazing job explaining it. But essentially, it's a rhythm relay. So it involves a bell. It involves listening to and writing out or dictating a rhythm that she plays on a drum. And then if the kids get it wrong, that's where the relay part comes in and the next kid can come over and try and fix it. Um, so again, I will add a, you know, respect to her. It's her idea. I will link it below for you guys so you can check it out. And she has a lot of other amazing ideas. All right, guys, so those are three lesson ideas from TikTok. I will be continuing to look out for this and let me know if you would like for me to share some more in the future. It's a really fun app and you actually can find some really valuable things to connect with your students with. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.